Okay, today we're going to change the water pump and either pulley on a 2007 Toyota Camry. The water pump is right there, the bigger pulley right there with four bolts on it, and the either pulley is right back in there behind it. Um, and I'm going to have you listen to what the water pump sounds like when it's breaking in a minute. Uh, so here's the water pump from uh, Rock Auto, Gates, and it was about uh, $32 or so, um, so not, not too bad, comes with a little, little gasket right there. And then the either pulley, also from Rock Auto, about $13 uh, to come. Uh, so at AutoZone, this by itself would have been about $70. Um, sound you know coming from this general area um, so that's what you'll you'll notice first when things start breaking and then eventually um, the water will or the coolant will shoot out of there uh, is we will disconnect the negative battery um, you don't have to do this but it's probably a good practice just to make sure you don't get you know, electrocuted because we're gonna have to remove the uh, alternator and that's a live connection right to the you know, battery so we'll just disconnect that just to make sure we will have to remove the alternator put it to the side uh, we're gonna have to take off the belt using the tensioner which is right underneath there you're not gonna be able to probably see it then uh, I don't think we're gonna have to raise the engine I don't know I'm gonna have to see if we can get a wrench right into there or not um, if we do have to sort of raise the engine a little bit, we will remove the um, engine motor mount right here, a couple bolts, then we can put a block underneath, lift up the engine just enough to get some clearance. Then with the either pulley, which is behind it, it's just gonna be one bolt. Once we have the belt and everything all off and out of the way, we'll just take that off, put that back on. It's not necessarily broken. Um, place it while we're here that way. Um, we don't have to redo this whole thing if, if that breaks in another Few months and then um, all right, I'm not going to be able to do this and show you at the same time because it takes two hands but the four bolts on the pulley uh, if you put a wrench on them uh, it's just going to advance the pulley so what I did was I, I left the belt on to give me just a little bit added extra tension and jammed a screwdriver underneath the bottom bolt which you can't see because my screwdriver is sitting on top of it right now. Push down, which maintains pressure on the bolt, while also it maintain pre maintains pressure on the center of the pulley here that you can sort of see some. Then take the wrench and pull up, and I don't have a whole lot of room but before I bang into the alternator. But I got two of them loose, this one and that one. So what I'm gonna do is just advance the pulley yeah, sorry about the focus and the way to do that is just I'll take the screwdriver out and just turn it slowly and then eventually the next bolt will end up in the same position uh, and then I'll just loosen that up. Now if you live somewhere in the north where bolts are really rusted you can see these are really clean uh, then you're gonna have a bigger problem but this car is... Okay so um, what I found worked was also doing this. I took off the dog bone motor mount. I probably didn't need to, but I was just trying to figure something out. Um, so anyway, it gave me a little bit of room to jam a screwdriver down into there, which you can see is in between um, that bolt. And it's blurry, but there's a bolt there that's jammed into. There you go. And then you know, that made enough pressure for when I'm turning it that way uh, that the resistance was good enough. Now, uh, what I also found, I'll take it out of here because they're all loose now, but, well, I'll we'll do that in a second. Um, it's a square shafted screwdriver, not the round kind. So, you want it square like that. That way it'll stick into it with the bolts. If it's round like that one, it's just going to fly out of there. So, all right, so here's the little bolts that hold the water pump on there, you can see there's not a whole lot of gripping surface, so be careful not to strip it. Um, I think I was close on one of these, 
but um, the bolts are off. Now we're going to take off the belt. There's a 19 millimeter uh, tensioner, which the camera's not going to see, but it's right above the idler pulley, and you're going to push uh, down. So right, you know, clockwise to loosen it. All the other bolts, normal, left is loose, right is tight. But on this one, um, you're going to push down, and that'll loosen up the belt. Before you do that, make sure you get a good picture of what the belt um, looks like, the um, serpentine part of it. I drew um, real quick, so get the alternator up top here, and goes over to the power steering around the idler pulley, which we're also going to take off, crankshaft, air conditioning, and then finally to the water pump back up so okay the uh, alternator is moved out of the way just there's uh, one large bolt over here which I believe was 14 millimeter and then there's a small one down here which was 12 to move it over to the side I just took the pulley off of it uh, just you should just pop it off with your fingers or tap it lightly with something and what we're going to do now is remove these bolts there's one here, one here, um, another one over here. So there's a handful of them. Uh, once you get into it, you'll see it. But I think there's probably two of these. And it's out of focus. But two of these, I believe, and probably two of those. So probably four. Once that comes off, then we'll tap this and the whole thing should come off. When that happens, there'll be fluid that's going to come shooting out of there. So below, you can't see it, but I have some containers to catch any overflow um, but yeah that's what we're gonna do take off maybe there's five of these total but uh, that's what we're gonna do next this was the tensioner which you already may have seen or are seeing right now that I was talking about push this way and here's the other pulley that will take off a little bit later okay there were six bolts um, all around the worst one was way down in the middle um, center but there's six of them and just tap it lightly with a hammer or anything and the fluid will come out and then there's the old water pump this out okay I just took the idler pulley off and that's the new one on there it's just a 14 millimeter bolt um, it's just uh, righty tighty lefty loosey same as normal here's the old one like I said I don't know if it was bad but since I'm here just replace it um, and um, just put it back on there again. One bolt, fairly easy. It's just a little bit difficult with your hands. There's not a lot of room. So I, I took the wrench and had it way down in there, pulled up, and then it came out. So either pulley replaced. Next, uh, we're going to clean off the surface. It's blurry, but we're gonna clean off the surface of the water pump, get that nice and clean before we put the new one back on. And that'll be, uh, and we'll get it, getting closer to getting home, but um, it just has to be real clean for the new pump to get on there. So I want to make sure there's no seal. Like here's the seal on the, for the old one. Now what I'm doing is just putting some degreaser uh, parts cleaner everywhere, um, just to get off all the grease that's around there because it was pretty greasy, which will um, make it a little bit easier when I'm putting all the bolts back on that my hands won't be all slippery and slimy. Also I'm going to use a plastic scraper um, just to go around the edges of the water pump just to make sure that uh, there's no residual um, gunk on there or the sealer, or I'm sorry, the uh, gasket, anything like that. And I'm using plastic because since it's aluminum you don't want to use a, you know, maybe another metal scraper and possibly risk scraping or marring it um, it's a little bit softer of a metal so just be careful with that use a lot of degreaser help get it all off um, all right here's the water pump I put the gasket on there and it looks like I sloppily put some gasket sealer on there as well um, but uh, it's really just sort of sloppy on the outside here where um, it's going to be okay on the inside I pretty much got most of it off um, but you don't want that gasket slipping around when you're trying to put it on there and um, I think it just looks worse than it is because I 
smeared it all over with my fingers. So now, all right, the water pump is on, and um, when you put the bolts on, just use a star pattern and this little uh, keyway that the wire fits in. Just kind of little leave a little bit loose until you're done getting that one in there because it's in the way of that bolt. So just star pattern it on there. Don't over tighten it. I put them on there just snug. They weren't very difficult to get off. So just don't overdo it, but just make it snug. And when you put it all back together, put the coolant in there, which I'll go through soon. Um, I would let the gasket sit you know, with the sealant on there for a good couple hours, maybe even overnight, just to let everything seal up. Um, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, two new developments. What I'm gonna do when I put it back together is I got a Allen wrench, which is, uh, I've you know, a lot of different lengths of them, so it's about the length of your finger approximately. Um, there's a little hole, there's two of them actually, for the special tool that Toyota probably has, but I don't. Um, if you put that in the hole, you can line it up into this keyway, that's right here. So you see there's the Allen wrench <clears throat> stuck in all the way through to the keyway. Then when I put the little bolts back in, I'm hoping that that will stop it from moving. Also, because that space is so small, I bought a pass-through ratcheting wrench. So I'm gonna use that. It's perfect amount of leverage with the uh, Allen key in there and then the ratcheting instead of the box and wrench that I was using. Then when you're all done, just obviously take that out. And as you switch it around, hopefully um, there's another hole over here that you can just turn it once you get past these two or three bolts. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Here's a word of warning on using that keyway. As I just finished the last bolt, a piece of it broke off. Um, so just be very careful about that. I didn't expect that. So I don't think that's gonna cause any problems, but then I, did the old-fashioned method of putting the screwdriver in here and then tightening up and so the rest are all tight and everything looks pretty good moving there's the new either pulley so everything seems good and now we'll bolt the alternator back in place which has two bolts one and two so now we have the alternator put into place it just has the two bolts one here one at the bottom uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's down there. Plugged everything back in. The battery is still unplugged. Uh, negative terminal is still off, just to be safe. I put the uh, motor mount back on there, the bracket. These didn't need to come off. I just took them off because I thought I might need some more room. So you don't need to take these off, even though I did. Um, but let's put them back together if you did take them off. And the water pump has been on there overnight so now we're going to put the belt on which is obviously the reverse of taking it off so we have the tensioner right down there which i believe is a 19 millimeter we're going to push it um, down to loosen it up and then we're going to loop it around all the belts or all the pulleys that we can and probably but this is where the drying of the belt uh, comes in handy so i've got this right in front of me and uh, you'll want to make your own just, to, just in case. To put the belt on it's going to be easier to take the tire off, take off this splash guard that's on here, then you'll be able to get to the crankshaft pulley and at least hold it on there and power steering which is up in there. Um, so that's going to be the best option because there's not much room for your hands. Um, okay, uh, the belt is on. Um, it's better just to start it over the alternator and then when you're pushing down on the tensioner, just to slip it over the water pump pulley that you just put on there. That's the best option. Um, over here, I'm just draining out the remaining coolant from that yellow um, yellow gate right there. It's emptying out. Okay, so now everything is up to speed, and we'll turn the car on so you can hear the difference. Sounds good as new. And that's all there is to it. It's 